week I make. Awesome. I can't wait, man. I fully enjoyed season one, so much success to you. All right, so, yeah, let's go get some something to drink. Your, uh, your, 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 your eyes are kind of... Are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah. Lucky, bro. I mean, they're really lucky. We had our hands full, and our brother got caught off guard, but it didn't belong. Those belts were around their waist oh, first. Well, as a matter of perspective, I mean, yes. All right, all right. Now, just announced by Mr. Joel Maximo for February. The one after the, the January show, but definitely in February. Get your tickets. Uh, former WWE. All right, I am hanging out with the Invitational Champion, the one, the only Feral. All right, guys, thank you very much. For being on the- I can tell, I can tell. What are you carrying with you today? This All right, thing. vlog interactions in full effect. I'm hanging out with... You get back here! Oh, for real? Yeah, and I'm going to bring up... Hey! Hi! Hi! How you doing? How you doing? Welcome, everybody, to Beyond the Barricade. I am your host, Papa Dank, and today I have a very special guest... On the road to wrestling is now's heart attack coming up February 10th. Let me bring to you the one, the only, the innovator, Johnny Cashmere. Yes. <laughs> What's up, What's up Papa Dank? Glad to be here, man. I, I'm I'm excited that you're here, man. It's 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 one of my my wishes to have had you on in a while, and somehow the stars aligned for us to come on together. Oh yeah, man. Always glad to do it, brother. You know I'm a big fan. I like that um montage we just saw. That was good. That was cool, right? That I have yeah. three of them. Uh, yeah, one's gonna be on a commercial for uh, Titan Championship Wrestling. Okay, and one's gonna be on a commercial for SICW, which is based out of uh, Missouri. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I, I guess. Well, yeah, the internet, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm friends with uh, Herb Simmons, who's been in the business fifty years. And wow. he was in the old NWA days with Bruiser Brody and Harry Muchnick and all those guys, man. Wow. So, yeah. So, he's a really nice guy, man. So, yeah, he's he's, he's like, yeah, I'll put your commercial on my show. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm going to say no. <laughs> his brain, man. It's always great to to pick the old head's brains, you know? I do. And uh, I know we're, t- we're supposed to about, talk about when, but I'm trying to make it work so I can go to Missouri in May for a fan fest. Yep. which he's he's hosting and you can see all the legends there oh wow look at that he knows every single one of them that's really big yeah he's got a lot of people so all these people wow he, cool he said if you want to come down you hang out here you know I like meet everybody I'm trying to see how many i can name is that wendy richter up top left yeah that's her hello yes yeah. bruiser Manny brody's Fernandez. widow's in there too I see Manny Fernandez next to Bill Apter, middle uh-huh. upper left. I work, is, shows I, with, left I work shows with Manny when I first started in uh, New Jersey, right here in Bordentown, New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, sure did. Uh, oh, uh, Jumpin' Jim Bronzel and B. Brian Blair, the Killer Bees. Yep. Awesome yep. tag team. Yeah. Tito Santana. Awesome. Tito, hell yeah. Teddy Boogie Long. Woogie. Boogie Woogie, Teddy Long. Harvey Abdul Winkleman. the Butcher. We Stan Hansen. Dr. Tom, bro. Dr. Tom, yeah. That's the one. I don't know if you know AJ Kazana from the NWA. No, I don't think so. That That is Dr. Tom's, uh, he's a student. He trained him. Wow. So, yeah, he's in there with the, the slime balls. They're all in there. Paul Roma. Paul Roma still looks good to this day. I just saw him recently. And um, the guy all the way on the bottom right, I can't remember his name from NWA. Yeah, I don't know. Who he I is. can't I remember his name. I love him. He's such a good wrestler. It's um, cra- <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, he's uh, good. Uh oh, skills are saying spo spo spo. <laughs> Probably because I'm putting myself over. So I'll put it over <laughs> I didn't even skills. Get to I yet. I sent you the link to uh, join us if you want. Since we are on the road to heart attack, and of course spo, we're going to talk about spo, obviously. Whatever you let's want to br- talk about, brother. Your well, let's let's bring that up. Yes. Superpowers of pro wrestling. Look at this. Wow. You are teaming up with John Zandig. That's right. Me and John Zandig, the Johns, John M. F. and Zandig, and Johnny Unf and Breakable Cashmere. We uh 
we have a long history together, uh, believe it or not. Uh, we actually went to Japan together. I found a picture just the other day of the two of us in Japan, a tour, pretty much just the two of us on tour for, I guess, a week and a half or so. Um, really got close with John and learned a lot. Um, John has a very, what's the word? You said innovator to describe me, which thank you. Um, he's an extreme innovator and he always has been. And to have him be a part of SPO in any way is amazing. Um, just obviously the things he's put his body through is second to no one else probably in the world, uh, or at least right up there. Um, but his brain is also very valuable and I don't think people realize that the way I do. And I'm going to try to tap into that. And, um, the guy he's wrestling Channing Decker from Greek town pro wrestling, um, lighting the world on flat on fire lately. He's been everywhere doing everything and he is TV ready. His matches are sick. Uh, the guy in front of him is face, you know, face. I mean, I talk, about, talk about a special attraction, someone that you don't see everywhere. I call him the man that feels no pain. Um, well, um, you don't have to feel pain and you don't have to feel fear to lose a match. Remember that. Awesome. Now is face ever happy? Cause I've never seen him happy at all or smile. I don't know. I don't really go near him. He always <laughs> seems miserable. So I leave him alone, but he's different. He doesn't think the same as normal people. I've noticed. Um, I don't know how to explain it. it. It's almost like he lives the life of Timothy Chalamet, uh -huh. not, but he's not the top star in the world making billions of dollars, but he's still living like he is and getting away with it. And I find it comical and disgusting. He took over my table at Titan to sell his shirts. <laughs> <laughs> That's nope, a story prison, for another day. <laughs> prison playground rules when he's around. So <laughs> now let's you sent me this earlier too. Every, yep. for every broken door, we give away a retro video game system to an advanced ticket holder. Tell me That's how this right. works. So uh it's a two out of three doors match. So the first guy to put their opponent through two doors wins. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we count the number of broken doors in the ring and we uh pick random fans out of um, the advanced ticket holders list. And we give away these retro gaming systems with thousands of games and they emulate nine, nine different systems. Uh, it's, re it's really neat. I, I have one myself and I swear by it. That's freaking awesome. Yep. You could come to a wrestling show and win a prize and you don't even have to put a draw in or something. Yeah. No, you don't. No, you're right. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is an awesome deal. Yeah. Um, well, let's see, you know, <laughs> I think that's great, man. That's unique. And I think to get ahead in this business and in the independent scene, you got to be unique and different. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? But Absolutely. I look at it like this, though. When when you are influenced by the norm, you're told you're called a poser. But if you right. do the opposite of the norm, you're still just as influenced by the norm. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Anyway, let me say so, let me say hello real quick to Herb Simmons who's joining us in the chat. Look at that. Oh, he's gonna give us some knowledge now. Difference stands out. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Herb you just missed me plug in FanFest too, but we plugged it. All right, let's go on to the rest of the card. I see Sonny Kiss is gonna be here. Yes, Sonny Kiss uh, making Spo wrestling debut against Homicide, the champion. Homicide, this is his first title defense managed by Skills the Great um, from Win. Obviously, you know Skills. Um, skills. He he is. Uh, how do I say it? His um, what? His um, cunning is seeping through the gutters of New York City and coming down in the New Jersey. I just feel it, and he's just. He's just infecting people. Like I, I'm pretty convinced he's got face under his sleeve. But anyway, um, oh no, <laughs> he's managing homicide, and uh, and Sonny's going to be there. And Sonny, I think, is one of the best wrestlers out there. The condition that she keeps her body in. I've seen the regiment, and I've trained with her in the ring, and I've seen how she well, trains her students. And she is pretty much everything Spo tries to embody uh, in one person. Like she is the personification of giving back and caring and being nice to people. And the difference between marking out and supporting other wrestlers. So many wrestlers mm -hmm. get so self-absorbed, they forget to support each other, you know? And, you know, we're not kids in gym class. It's not fun to walk by and ignore each other and push each other. And, you know, we all got to help each other, you know? And I say it all the time. When, when you get to the next level, the first thing you do is you turn around and you pull people up to that level 
to where you are. Um, there's so many people that when they feel they get to that next level, they turn around and they cover up the path behind they them do. so no one else can follow. And you know what? That person, yeah, they're secure in their level. They're not going to fall. But the people that they would have turned around and helped might get ahead of them and then turn around and help them get to the next level. And they're going to miss out on that. That's true. That's very true, man. That's why I keep it very friendly with my fellow podcasters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ulterior motive. Have, the trick is to try to be genuine, though. You know, I, I get fake it till you make it and all that. But the trick is to just be genuine. Everyone's trying. I, I truly believe there's no evil people out there. There's just people that slowly, little by little, that line in the sand got moved inch by inch by inch. And suddenly you wake up and you're at the other coastline. But it, right. no one no one snaps their finger and turns evil. That only exists in pro wrestling. <laughs> Herb says it's called the extended family helping each other. Yeah, that's, that's true. it. That's it takes true. a community to raise a kid. So uh, if so facto, uh, it would take a community to raise a wrestling student too. So yeah, that makes sense. True. That's true. I mean, I talk to Metal Geek every day, so. <laughs> nice. So me and him are real tight. Um, I like all right. too. He's good. Yeah, Geek's a good guy. Hell yeah. He's, a, he's running a campaign against me. He wants to steal, steal my spot. <laughs> that's an interesting sentence geek's a great guy he's running a campaign against me <laughs> he is it's really good i love it <laughs> it's like very nice very evil i tell him geek you got more subs on youtube than i do what are you talking about <laughs> yeah no he yo he hustles both you guys hustle man seriously we like try, the man. only uh, thing the only thing you and him are missing is the in-ring work you realize that right <laughs> <laughs> i'm too old for that man i'm 50 man yeah well hey tantalizing tony can come back Oh, Dan, I, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him on Alicia Fox's uh, post. <laughs> yeah, and he's working out every day. I got to hand it to him, man. God bless. I really, truly like that that man and his daughter. Very, very good, wholesome man with a good family and a good heart. He's a funny guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I work out too, Johnny. Hey, you don't have to impress me, man. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> good for you bro good for you no i see you look all right good Some, sometimes there's a slime ball in the gym with me so can't leave is there really <laughs> yeah there is actually what you wait a minute whoa, whoa, whoa you work out in the gym with one of the slime balls uh, yeah which one Some, sometimes Bigger they're both there big they're both there yeah they're both there no. last night <laughs> you know you know the first ever spo wrestling match was slime balls versus silk city kings was it really? <laughs> yeah. And I, and I did that on purpose. I wanted those guys to start off the company for me because I know I know that they are uh, about to, you know, there's a rocket attached to their backs. I know that already. So if you're telling me they're in the gym, that's the only thing they're missing is a body. Get in yeah. shape, guys. Get big. Hell yeah. I love they hearing are, that, bro. They are in the gym. Absolutely. Respect the crap. How you doing, sir? Mr. Ray Sanchez. Oh, Give I love props. Ray. What's up, Ray? Good stuff, man. He just had uh, Nate Stein on the other day, Phil Stamper, and he had Bufa AO on, man. So yeah, he, you're all right in my book. He beat me to Bufa AO. I've been wanting to have him on like ten, 10 years ago when I first met him at VPW. I, I can't even take credit. It's VPW. They they put it out there that he was coming back, and JP yeah, no, Grayson no. and Tommy Grayson send me the thing in text. Say, look at you know we can get this guy, and I'm like, yeah, he was like what? what eight years. But I didn't know Bufa Io, I, I, and I didn't recognize him with the glasses and the hat, and he's aged. And, <laughs> and I said, I said, great. Next one. There he is. Yeah, I said, great. <laughs> Thanks for the text, guys. Like, what, what, what's the point? They said, no, that's that's K Pusha from All Money Is Legal. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> thank. I said, now, I said, you got to be kidding me. So I got in touch with him, and uh, uh -huh. it turns out that he's coming in from China uh, is, in a few yeah. weeks, and he's going to be doing a whole tour and. Um, my God, perfect timing for this PWU match. And uh, talk about giveaways. Lucky, by the way, Dank, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, is going to be giving away 13 New Jersey lottery scratch-offs to the crowd every time he wrestles. <laughs> nice. Now, one of them, what if one of them wins a million dollars? You get, <laughs> like, they can oh, buy, a, buy a lot of retro gaming systems with that money. That's for sure. Hoopa <laughs> A.O., man. He is such a nice guy, too. And so talented. Nice and Have you, talented. Like, Listen, I was trying to say, if you are ever just bored, go uh, on Google Images and search Chinese cars. 
Chinese automobiles because they don't export their autos. So they're very strange looking to the American eye. So everything in China to me is just like completely arm's length, you know, over controlled, you know, they don't have the internet that can go out as free as ours, yet they're allowing pro wrestling and Bufa Ayo is like iconic (laughs) and kicking ass over there. Like nice. (laughs) <laughs> the world. Why have fiction writers uh, when the the reality is is so great? I, I can't even believe they have uh, they don't import their cars. That's a, I never heard that before. Yeah, look look at their car. I gotta check like, it out now. Wait, where'd I'm that come from? Cool. Look at that van. Look at that. Like it's like whoa, you know. Like, oh man, I can't wait. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at that definitely tonight. And oh, this was what, what I spent all day here? on. I spent all day on this today. All right, let me tell you what happened, Dank. You're going to appreciate this. So (laughs) I wake up today to an email from Todd Gordon forwarding Mm -hmm. me a link to a list. Uh, It's basically a um, like a news reporter, sports reporter. uh, And the place is like in the World Trade Center on like the 70th floor. So they're, you know, way up there. And uh, he says, look, look at this. And it's a list of everything happening WrestleMania weekend in Philly and in Jersey. And I mean everything. Boom, 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 boom. Except my thing. And he's like, yo, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, no. So I had to push, put the brakes on today for promoting February 18th event, the boss battles that you're showing. And today was all about April 7th and signing our date after that, uh, May 18th. So uh, we have... A bunch of dates coming up April 7th. If you're paying attention is WrestleMania weekend, it's WrestleMania Sunday, and we're going to be doing a two 30 event. And if you look at this picture on your screen, Mm -hmm. uh, if you notice you have two cold Scorpio, he is going to be facing the winner of homicide versus sunny, uh, April. So, and he's a former PW champion too. Um, the carnage crew are having their last match ever as a tag team. And Tony DeVito, after over 33 years in the wrestling business, all those matches in WWE, he is finally going to call it quits. This is his last match in the Northeast ever. And he's always wow. been from New York. This is his area. So, right. you know, we're going to put a ring outside and a ring inside, Dank. And the ring wow. outside, as long as it doesn't rain or whatever, the ring outside is going to have at least two matches for free for the whole town of Burlington to come watch. And these aren't awesome. pre-show matches. We're not just doing pre These are two okay. of the like eight advertised matches are going to be outside for free. Then we move everyone inside and do the whole rest of the other, uh, the rest of the event itself. That's um, awesome. So we're trying, we're trying to give something special to Burlington who has been coming out to support us. Um, so we'll see, you know, it's, it's getting good. And we have the SPO Todd Gordon announced, um, the pro wrestling unplugged title is going to be on the line. The reigning champion, John McChesney, who Mm -hmm. did never lost the title. So in 2010, when we closed down, so almost 15 years later, he's defending his belt against lucky, um, or against the winner of lucky and And, uh, Ufa Ayo. Right. And, and wow. I did not just give away a finish. I don't even know who's going to win the match. So that's up to Jim <laughs> Molino. But uh, yeah, so that, that's going to be interesting. PWU is now a sub uh, secondary title in pro wrestling unplugged uh, in, in SPO wrestling. Pro wrestling unplugged is the company I started with Todd Gordon in Philly back in 06, 05 and ran until about 2010. Um, uh, Scorpio was one of our champions and John McChesney was the last champion. Uh, McChesney, who's most known for his work up in Northeast, uh, in Northern New York, uh, one of the best wrestlers around still to this day. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. You ready for a win? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited too, man. Hell yeah. Look, look, look at this talent card over here. I know. Yo, so we'll just start. Let's just mess around here. So first of all, Crowbar, how can you go wrong with Crowbar? You I can't mean, go wrong with Crowbar. Dude, like we're talking WCW. He used to be Devin Storm, but I'm not even talking about WCW like Monday Night Wars. I'm talking before, like way before him and Ace Darling, you know, were a tag team. So like what a veteran and he gives back to the locker room and stuff. So what a great guy. And he still goes. He goes off the top rope and lands on guardrails and stuff. He's losing. He's as good now as he's ever been. And he's going up against face. Yeah. The man that doesn't feel pain. So whoever, (laughs) whoever booked this is uh uh-huh. is really going to be um enjoying watching because happy they're not in the match put it like that 
<laughs> uh, let's go up up to you guys next because I have that card separate. There you are. Oh, six, six man. Six man tag. Yep. As usual, the trios. Uh, you know, you never know. I mean, this match was supposed to happen before and it got it stuff went down that it couldn't happen, but we have done it, I think, once or twice. We've done it in um uh, I want to say New England. So this will be interesting. Those guys are pretty innovative and uh uh this should be a fun time. That the backseat boys and yourself versus Ichiban and the Miracle Generation, that's mm -hmm. gonna be crazy. This whole card is crazy. Yeah, fireworks, bro. Fireworks, fireworks all night long. Even last show, that place was packed and the crowd was going insane. That was so much fun. I loved last that, show. That was really, that was much fun. And you got, yeah, I know you were chowing down on tacos, man. <laughs> Bro, my gosh, <laughs> I'm still feeling it. <laughs> I was eating the empanadas in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that was. I don't know stuff. what Geek was eating because he was sitting next to me. He was eating something. <laughs> and then we got Big Body Bess coming. So tell me about this. I don't know. I'm not familiar. Who's big? Who is this? He is a recording artist. He's a rapper. Really? Who? Yeah. He's he's associated oh, with uh, man Bronson Action Bronson. Oh wow! Team. Nice. So they're all associated, and he's making his wrestling debut, teaming up with PJ Savage. You're kidding? That's what it's that means? Okay. Crazy. Awesome. Yes. Him and That's PJ are, are teaming up to get to go up against Stephen Pena and a creepy Hamlet Hersu because oh, that guy's yeah. creepy. <laughs> Does he actually go by creepy Hamlet now? No, no, it's just oh, Hamlet. you just said that. Oh, I okay. just call right. him creepy. <laughs> Give it time. So, <laughs> so wait, go back, go back to the pink thing. So, um, the main one with everyone that we were just gotcha. there. You go, uh, Brando <laughs> Lee is really Brando good, Lee. and yes. Cage. That are they wrestling each other? Chris Cage. No, I don't believe they are. I don't they think so announced, either. But uh, they haven't announced. They haven't announced whoever, their matches. Whoever they wrestle, they're both going to have awesome matches. They're attractions. You want to see both of them. Conway obviously is great, and uh, yes. the slime balls. I mean, come on, who can't love the slimes? <laughs> who can't love the slimes? And those tag team titles are cursed. See, you and I remember you can't do that on television from Nickelodeon, right? Uh huh. Right. <laughs> but so many of the kids today don't and like i wish they did because that's something that like they the slime balls are that <laughs> slime balls are a lot of things <laughs> true and currently in the nwa successful being one of them correct very successful and joey's going up against ace romero man oh nice that's crazy that's gonna be really good yeah See, that's the Joe. thing about win events is you'll see me out either in the crowd or watching out the curtain. Like last time I was watching almost the whole show because um, right. I was first match. So I made sure to get out there and watch it. And I was like standing with like Jack Sabbath and you and, right. you know, uh, other people were. Yeah, it, it was it was really neat to see the uh, the match, the matches from that perspective, because, you know, watching them on video from the back or after the fact is not the same as being where you can feel the crowd energy, you know, and I think Absolutely. when I think that's. I think that's Wynn's major selling point right now, crowd energy. I mean, it was a neat atmosphere. Yeah. The energy yeah. was off the off the charts. Yeah. And uh, with Big Body Bez being there, we're supposed to have world, world star hip hop there. Wow. Perfect building for it, man. Perfect everything for it. Iconic building. Hell so yeah. So tell me what the strategy is for, for you guys in the six-man tag match. We just have to use our weight to our advantage. You know, all three of us are bigger than all three of them. There's there's not one of them that's bigger than any one of us. So we're just going to use that to our advantage. And I mean, listen, I'm not saying they're stoops. I don't know them as real lives. I don't know what they got on their SAT, but I can guarantee you they're not as smart as me. So they already got two strikes against them right there. So is speed going to overcome power and brains? We'll see. Stranger things have happened, but. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go back to Spoke for a minute. All now, right. Now, tell me, if there's someone you could bring into Spo that hasn't been there yet, who would it be and why? Simon Gotch. And okay. I would like him and, and Aiden. I would like to get the um, the villains in. I think they're... Uh, the, for amazing me being, together. For me being a tag team specialist, they're the closest thing to like a tag team whose poster would be on my wall. Like I'm a 
big fan of them and i have been since the day they debuted and um i love it. um i would also try to get um paul london i want him i want lucha lit lince dorado lucha lit i want azriel i want um uh, dan moff i want uh every i want every it sucks i i am <laughs> you a, want everybody i'm a greedy action figure collector collector uh -huh. with his own fed is what i am <laughs> What about for your women's division? Well, uh, I mean, I guess um, Ultraviolet is really good. Um, sure. I think she's really good. Um, I would Great. love to get Silesia Sparks uh, up in Canada if I could ever swing that. I think she's next level. Um, but Christina Marie and Rebecca Scott are phenomenal. The match they had December 31st, I put clips on my story that I had to actually slow down and magnify because they were swinging and throwing their ducks so fast that it was like watching the matrix. Um, that's wow. the kind of thing you don't see often. So when people work that hard, when Jim Molyneux comes up to you and says, yo, Johnny, I really hope you understand, you know, what you have in these two women, like you listen, you know? So, right. yeah, I mean, as long as, as long as everyone plays in the pool nicely, um, then yeah, the, the women's division can go as far as, as any other division. Now, Christina Marie pops up at win here and there. That's right. <laughs> that's right so yeah, she's, I, I, she's, I think we need a women's division at win i believe they've been talking about doing that for a while but you know there's just so much and and you know what it is it's we've all had to pivot a lot you know you guys had that show where the weather really affected things and it's just you know you have to yeah. pivot and then you get into crisis booking and right now everything's smooth i shouldn't even say that my god is there wood around here <laughs> hold on I, I shouldn't even say that <laughs> but right now. Everything's smooth sailing, you know? So it's like, ah, uh, you know, I'm not one of these people that worries that there's nothing to worry about. And I also have no fear of missing out anymore. I grew out of that um, about 45 minutes ago. Well, about 45 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I'm going to throw out a name for you for the women's division. All right. And maybe because I'm just pals with her or whatever. Brittany Brooks. I'm not that up on a lot of the women. I don't know oh, her. I'm she's, sorry. She's killing it. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. I yeah. You have to look her up, man. Yeah, I'm still, yeah, exactly. I'm still running to catch up in some aspects. Serena says, no, Johnny, don't jinx it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah man. We're supposed true. to do a project up. We were supposed to do a big event in March up here, but she's booked. She got booked. Really? She's like, I'm so sorry, Papa Dick. I got booked. Like, it happens. What are you gonna do? It happens, right. Right. That's a good thing to apologize for. That's right. That's right. But I will be at big event anyway. <laughs> good. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. I thought you were going to say Tiffany. <laughs> I, I don't want to throw too many names out at Johnny tonight. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a lot of good women as I've been around this last year doing events. Yeah. There's definitely some good women out there. I'm, you know, All for right. sure. I, you know? I, I'm, I'm going to signal my first guest for, uh, big event the one and only cotton candy princess tiffany avatar wow she's beautiful <laughs> she's yeah. beautiful inside and out. she's so nice. so so nice great look so cool. great look yeah i'm not i don't mean beautiful in a creepy way i'm looking at yeah, it, yeah, as no, I I, it. I get it as if i were a, a wrestling judge sitting on the high council of wrestling looking down <laughs> upon her and saying yes she has my approval uh, yeah i joel got to see her in action when he was at titan Oh, he did was he? Wrestling PJ. Yeah, he was wrestling PJ. Nice. What a match that was, man. Holy I can, God. I'll bet. I'll bet. Was what was your favorite matchup with the last win show? Man, I'm going to be biased, but I, my PJ is my guy. So I'm going to say the PJ match with Hamlet. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ha Hamlet de definitely made an impression. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. Damn right. <laughs> definitely made an impression, man. Holy cow. Yikes. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to at win? Um, I'm looking forward to what certain individuals are going to do. People like Brando Lee, I'm interested to see where he takes things next. Guys like Pat Dynamite, where he's going to take things next. I want to see what the SAT are going to do when they come back uh, off the shelf, so to speak. Um, and I want to see, um, how do I say, there's a lot of life left in them. There's a lot of chapters unwritten and the book 100%. of the SAT will continue. And I'm interested to read the next chapters. And they got some big goals for win. So. It's the only kind of goals to have, brother. Otherwise, why get out of bed? 
<laughs> I don't know. I've seen some some people, some companies don't have that that lofty goals, man. I I know you set your 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 bar high. I already know that about you just from talking to you. At, it's just you, you try to do you try to do things you would enjoy. I just ask myself, what would I want to see if I was here? What would I enjoy? That's all. And I, and half the time I get it right, half the time I get it wrong. Probably I don't know. Right. What we need, you know, what we need, Win and and Spo. We need what's that called when you um market research or whatever or panels like where you get those people in a room with a one glass me- a one way mirror and we show mm-hmm. them and ask what they think about things. Like that would get rid of a lot of the trial and error that the promoters have to go through on the indies. Because in case anyone was wondering, there's no book on how to be a pro wrestling promoter and definitely no book on how to be a pro wrestling promoter on the indies. And the funny thing is there actually is a book, but it's, it's crap. Is there really a book? (laughs) Yeah, there is. I saw it, but it's, it's BS. There's really not one, you know, it's, it's do it as you go. Like I I've always promoted my next event. But now with WrestleMania on the horizon in April and I have my February 18th event coming up, I have no choice but to start promoting my April 7th as well. And how do you do that? I don't know. That's why I'm treading carefully. Yeah, I I see a lot of companies skipping over certain shows to promote their other shows because they got a lot riding on the line. Or just not running. A lot of show, a lot right. of indie companies, you figure today's what, January 30th? Most indie companies, their next event is the WrestleMania show around here. A lot of them don't have a show between now and then, but we do. So right. I can't just put all my eggs in the WrestleMania basket. You know, it's I suppose more than just trying to take advantage of one weekend that happens right. to come to us by chance. Right. You know, we're about, you know, uh, not we're not about the one heroic effort. We're about the grinding it out day after day and trying to be consistent all right so let me go into your your not not so much your history some of your interests so what are you collecting nowadays what do you collect i stopped collecting i i collect religious artifacts usually uh rosaries and chaplets things like that i did have a huge uh action figure collection that i got rid of a couple years ago um what else do i collect that's about it. I'm not a big, I, I am a collector when I find something like I get the bug hard and I go all in on collecting, you know, but I haven't gotten that bug lately. Like I said, lately I collect pro wrestlers. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm a big Funko guy. So I collect Funko pups. Oh, nice. <laughs> My old man's a bobblehead guy. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a very addicting Johnny. Don't get into oh, it. Entire rooms. I have I have a storage unit full of Funko Pops and figures. There it is. And they're just in there. I've seen them in like a year and a half now. Oh gosh. Don't know what's in there. Oh my god. Metal- Mitch collects Batman. No, he's calling me Batman. Oh, he's calling you Batman. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And Metal, Metal Geek. Metal Geek, Geek is Yeah. Mitch Mitch also said by the time you write the book, everything has changed. Adapt and overcome or get left behind. That's right. Mitch is my one of my partners, is my partner in Spo Wrestling, actually. Cashmere's a legend, my man. Thank you, coach. All right. So, what are you into? Like, do you watch movies, television? What are you doing? TV. I'm real into TV. I need I need to have the continuing storyline to get my, you know, I need to fall in love with the character. I need to fall in love with the character. I need to know uh, I gotta see what's gonna happen next, you know. So I'm right now I'm watching uh HBO um True Detective is phenomenal. Oh, yo, that was the new season. Good, great. I haven't watched Just, it yet. I watched the other ones, but not this one. Yeah, so far so good. Um, you know what's good? Beef on uh, Netflix with uh, Stephen Yoon. It's all about these two people that get in like a stupid argument in traffic, and. Uh-huh. It and just, it yeah, and it's really good. And Stephen Yoon, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets an Emmy. His acting is like Leo he won DiCaprio. He the Golden Lowe. Globe for for beef. For beef, yeah, he did. Wow, I see. Yeah, I don't pay did. attention. Good, good for him. Yo, I was sings. watching it and I saw him. I'm like, oh shit, he. Won. I didn't even know he was doing that show. To be honest with you, me neither. He sings in it. He sings uh, "Stellar" by uh, Incubus, and he sings it so well. Like he's right. so talented. You see a huge range of acting with him in that show. In that show, so try that. Try try beef. I remember him. Uh, from Walking Dead. That's oh. where I remember him from. Hell yeah, Glenn. Yeah, Glenn. And then uh, Nope. He was in Nope. 
Oh, he was. I didn't know. I didn't watch no. Not a big that too. part, but he was in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Geek says Johnny, you have to watch Killers of the Flower Moon. I never heard of that. I have to check that out. It's with Leo DiCaprio. Mm-mm, never heard of it. I'll tell you what I watched that Nova to, um, Mike Bucci used to be Simon Dean in WWE. He put a thing out saying, watch that uh, Society of the Snow movie on um, Netflix. And it's a, uh, I want to say it's a Spanish movie, but with American overdubbing. And it's all okay. about the uh, rugby team in like 72 that crashed in the Alps. Oh, where they, they had to eat each other? Dude, I couldn't, I, I have a pretty iron stomach and... Halfway through, I was like, nah, I can't anymore. And it wasn't because really? of the cannibalism. It wasn't even the cannibalism. It was just how real it all was. And and like the fact that when you show a plane crash now, we have the technology and the um, computer imagery to slow it down so you can see bones crunching and chairs breaking and what in slow mo. And it, it's just too, nice. it's too much. It's too much. But it's, I mean, if you like that sort of thing, it is riveting and extremely well done. Okay. Are you watching House of Dragon? I watched the first few episodes and then I kind of lost interest. What did you think? I loved Game of Thrones, but yeah, I kind of lost interest to be honest with you. Okay. Um, but I love like Silicon Valley. I'll go back and watch that just to laugh. That cracks me up. Um, Sopranos, obviously, I can watch forever. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Forever. And now with the 25th year anniversary, they're like back bigger than ever. So. What's your favorite gangster movie? My Cousin Vinny. <laughs> My Cousin Vinny? That's not a game. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, probably Casino or Goodfellas. Uh, Goodfellas. I'm going to say Goodfellas. I like Goodfellas. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, say Goodfellas too. Yeah. Well, I'm a huge Godfather fan. I could watch those over and over again. Yeah, yeah. I saw a funny <laughs> um, meme online with uh, Frank Vincent from uh, – sopranos and joe pesci and it had the shining like from um stephen king's the shining but it said the uh, shoe shining the shoe shining. Know, like, <laughs> go get Shot your shoes. shine box <laughs> go get your friggin' shine box <laughs> i got your shine box hold on boom, boom uh tina says i'm a girl sausage just vampire diaries oh i've seen it yeah that's pretty that good a good show metal mm-hmm. metal geek says analyze this, analyze this. Uh, the movie i love it analyze that is one of my favorite movies when when billy crystal's driving the getaway truck and they're shooting at him and he's yelling it's a lease it's a goddamn lease out the window that was so funny now you a big video game guy do you like video games yeah i play switch switch okay yeah All right. i play i have the new um i have well i have luigi's mansion three but i have the new mario wonder i play that and i have uh, the new zelda and a bunch i have a bunch of pretty pretty cool my games kids, and i still gotta huh well my kids were playing the mario game you just mentioned it's good right they it's like fun. it I, I like it i don't know i like i, grew I up play the it. lego games nice and easy my generation's the first generation that had uh video games so yeah mine too you remember atari yeah i had one yeah but there's <laughs> like there's too. there's a glass ceiling though like right above me there's uh-huh. a glass ceiling where people don't no one had video games. Anyone older than me didn't have video games. Yeah, I I, I had a tar. I had uh, my favorite was Pitfall. I me too. I just <laughs> sent that to my cousin the other day and said I showed him a picture of like eight different games and I said, "What's your favorite?" Mine's Pitfall. Um, M- Mitch says War Robots on Steam. Yeah, I like Steam. Steam's fun too. Yeah, let me tell you, I have a little theory about um, video games. Everyone dogs our student, our kids today oh they're always on their phones they're always on their devices they don't know how to do this i don't know how to do that and i'm starting to think to myself imagine today's 17 or 18 year old on their phone chewing their bubble gum you know going to parties getting pregnant whatever the hell they do and now imagine the 18 year old (laughs) from from the 60s or 70s and they were being drafted to the military imagine Okay, we got a draft, everyone. All the 18-year-olds come together in a big thing. Okay, we're going to pull names out of a hat. Okay, so-and-so. You're just going to hear a gunshot. They're just going, yeah. they're dead. Boom, kill themselves. Like, they're, these people, these kids would never be able to go into the theater oh. of war that our grandparents went into, like World oh, War II. I wouldn't I be able to. But then I realize the future of warfare is drones 
and the equivalents of video games. That's right. So, strikes. so we're good. <laughs> America's going to continue into the next hundred years on top because of all these kids. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Dude, that's true. I, I agree. Up. I can't I even put out an Instagram post. I messed it up. I took me, I spent about 48 minutes doing an Instagram post last week. Uh, like there's, there's no way I'm going to mess anything up. Boom. Sides are cut off. Something's discolored. Right. These kids are like directly interfacing with these computers somehow and getting it to do what it wants and what they want in no time. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. We were talking about how we were struggling at setting up the Instagram with the stream. <laughs> Exactly. Like you, you started telling me halfway through the steps of the Instagram stream. And I was just uh, like, stop, just stop. You're done, just, yeah. just, <laughs> I'm done. Don't even keep going. I tap out. <laughs> Labyrinthian to me. That is it's, it's, figuring it's, all that stuff out. Once you get your ha hang on it, you, you'll, you'll be fine. You just got to practice. Well, I'm just delegating to younger people. JP Grayson does a great job. Wrestling cause does a great job. Um, Anyone, my, my five-year-old nephew. Hey brother, he's next. He's next. He's he going to end up being. He's going to be the Spo uh, social media wizard in about a year. You watch. <laughs> a lot of people joining us on uh, on Instagram. We have Hot oh, nice. Take Wrestling, who are from Chicago. Nice, welcome everyone. Dante King, what is up, Dante? I haven't talked to you in a while. Satanta nice. Fury, who's over at NYWC. Nice. You got a following. Got some peeps. We got some peeps watching us tonight. Good job, Dank. And I hope they're having a good time like we're having a good time. Hell yeah. Good stuff, Dank. <laughs> good stuff, brother, man. Always a always a pleasure talking to you, man. Even me and Geek always talk about you all the time, how 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 awesome you are. Oh, stop. And that, rubs that's off. not even like, that's not even just messing around. Like, that's the God honest truth. He'll tell you. Uh, like, we talk about you all the time. It rubs <laughs> off from you guys. The greatness. <laughs> Listen, no, I man. appreciate it. I appreciate you, man, taking your time to speak to me tonight. Of course. Everybody go out there, support Spo. Superpowers yeah. of Pro Wrestling. The boss battle is coming up Sunday, February 18th at 2.30 p.m. in Burlington, New Jersey. Are you from New Tickets Jersey? Tickets at SpoWrestling.com. I'm from New Jersey. I was actually born and raised right here in Burlington, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come check out Johnny as well as Sunny Kiss versus Homicide. Mm-hmm. The, Damn the, right. The Plus, deathmatch legend John face. Zandig. The milf hunting face is <laughs> the what? Milf hunting face? Yeah, that's what is he, that what he is. A milf hunter too. That's what he calls himself. The milf hunter. Isn't there a milf hunter on AEW? No, no, not AEW. No. Yes, there is. There Ooh. is. Or Ring of Honor. Oh, maybe Ring of Honor, but not. Yeah, AEW. the blonde guy. Uh. uh Carter, Carter, Carter. <laughs> Cole Carter I don't know. I, I don't really. I haven't watched Ring of Honor. So we have a couple milf lovers here. Okay. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe face should switch to the soccer mom lover. The soccer mom lover. Yeah. So he can go after, says, it's a less. Milfing. It's a less in demand demographic. You should have seen him at Titan. He, all the the moms are lining up to take pictures. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> That's good, man. See that? He's backseat At my material. table. He's backseat <laughs> material if you just get his head on straight. He is. <laughs> but whatever. Oh, man. That Johnny ship Cassie, is, all right. That ship is sailed. Oh. That ship is sailed. <laughs> oh, make sure you guys check out Two Powers of Pro Wrestling. Like, subscribe to everything. Spo, Johnny Cashmere, the backseat boys, which we got to get on here, the three of you, one day. Anytime, man. They're the best. They're so they dedicated the and and... They got a great work ethic, and I'm so impressed. And I learned from them, so it's it's an it's interesting uh, to uh, to turn the page here. So thank you for everything, brother. That tournament you guys had for the first win ta tag team titles tournament that they had was amazing. That yeah, was and nice. They took, the, they took the gold that night. I was so proud. I know. <laughs> Let's talk about Sunday, April seventh as well. This is going to be a big yep. event. Carnage Crew, baby, last uh, dance uh, ever. And uh, and it's DeVito's last match in the Northeast. I mean, I watched Tony DeVito in WWF when I was a kid, you know? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I've wrestled him in Ring of Honor so many times, and I just – I love him, and it's going to be a very emotional 
night for everyone, especially in the Northeast, um, because of how beloved he is in the locker room and by everyone in wrestling. So just the fact that he's even doing this at an event that I'm promoting is such an honor for me, but awesome. it's like having, it's like having an egg in your hand. You got to defend it and you have to nurture it and you have to make sure that this all works because he deserves to go out in style. God bless him. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, man. God bless him. God bless you, Johnny, for everything you do for wrestling. I want to appreciate and you, you, my friend. And you, my and friend. And let's Thank not forget, you. together we will be at Wrestling Is Now's Heart Attack coming up yeah. at the Queensboro Alex Lodge. Use that QR code to get your tickets. It is February 10th. And like we said earlier, Crowbar is going to be there. Hell but we yeah. forgot to mention Mike the Truth Jackson. Whoa. Not that right. CM Punk. He's going to be there. Nice. Yeah, I'm animal. News. Yeah, he's an animal. He is an animal. Uh -huh. He has teamed up with Joey Conway and the Slime Balls and Pena. I know it's going to be neat. I'm excited to see what happens. Good stuff, man. Good, good storytelling. Dare I say? More, more of that. I'm sure will come at at Heart Attack. Uh, Geek says, "I remember the Carnage Crew." That's right. Versus you and Trent versus the SAPs. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. We went in the Scramble Cage together, the Carnage Crew and the SAT and the back seats, and we were all in there. Yep. That was crazy. That's as close as you get to two soldiers bonding on a battlefield was that scramble cage match. Awesome. All right. What else we got going on, Johnny? That's about it, my man. That's about okay. All right. That's All about right. it. I mean, I'll talk about anything you want, but yeah, we can we can go on and on. I don't care. Let's talk about Keep this. Saying. The SAT school, the workshop. Yes. I like DJ the name Savage. of Savage. He's a trainer there as well. Make sure you go to wrestling is now. If you want to Good be a stuff. wrestler, you know, I, I told the else. SAT this, they probably get bashful, but when I came back to wrestling, I noticed a lot of the younger wrestlers were really good. And I'm like, you know, there seems to be a larger percentage of good wrestlers now than there was when I was mm -hmm. in it, you know? Um, but there was also more wrestlers period when I was in it too. Um, but the SAT trained a lot of people and so did red and Brian XL. Right. Um, and I really think that people don't realize the value that they gave to this entire area because the wrestling has improved in the area because guys like them are trainers. Guys like Azriel are trainers. You know, they're out there teaching guys the right way and and being available to them to, to keep helping them as they grow higher and higher. And um, that's the only way to do it. So the fact that the yeah, SAT so are doing that, that's why I want to see win do so well i'll do anything i can to help it because it's helping so many people establish themselves me too and they're giving back because they're holding a gabe saplowski tryout seminar mm -hmm. only for 100 bucks invest in yourself it is open to wrestlers referees and announcers there you go it might even be sold out i don't even know if they're sold out because they had limited space i know that yeah 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 so opportunities like that don't come around often Definitely, if you guys are watching in the area, sign up for that workshop. Also, want to give a shout out to my friends at Titan Championship Wrestling. They are doing the Shriners Children's Hospital Philadelphia Benefit Show coming up on February 17th. And I am an official proud sponsor of that event as well. A lot wow. of stuff and coming up for Titan. That's in New Jersey? That's in Jersey, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Also, coming up out here in, in Long Island, the King of yes. New York for Victory Pro Wrestling. Yes, Booth is on that. Boopa's on that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. both Boopas. What? There's the big Boopa too. Desmond Cole. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The big Boopa. It, it's nice. The two Boopas will be in the penalty. Wonderful. So oh, uh, yeah, dude. man. Go. Yeah. Nice. Good. 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 Whatever I think. This, yeah, we oh, do too. Before we do I forget, too, yeah. this Saturday I will be hanging out at Ace Wrestling, Ace Pro Wrestling. This Saturday night, as my good pal Tiffany Avatar takes on Amity Levet. They're gonna nice. Plus beat Dan the hell out of each other. Look at Dan Moff there. What Dan a believable be there. monster! Look at him. <laughs> he is a monster. Good lord, dude! Yikes. So if you're in the, the T-neck area this Saturday, come down and, and watch Hero Celebration. I will be there just hanging out. I will not be doing my vlog. I will be doing my vlog at BPW and win. Yeah. 
Nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun. Nah, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just gonna That's hang fine. out. You gotta. Also, you have up. to enjoy wrestling, bro. If wrestling becomes your job and only your job, suddenly it'll lose a flavor, and and you don't want that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out, see my friends That's wrestling, it. you know, relax, maybe have a beer, maybe. <laughs> I'm not driving, so it doesn't matter. That's it. Coming up for me this Thursday, my special guest Serpent and Luke Justice from MCW. Now they've been waging war for for i think over a year now wow and, and this is going to come to a head this thursday on my podcast at 7 30 p.m wow and Eastern what's mcw Standard mcw are, is what they are based in osceola arkansas wow i, I know am there's there. one in mich in uh, maryland there too is. so yes. so wait so so your podcast helps these federations out like this but you don't actually go to the shows yet but you're saying the missouri Not one you're going to be at uh yeah well for mcw I'm, they're gonna fly me out for one of the shows this oh, year good good but I, I am like their unofficial podcast good official because i good. do all the podcasts for those guys and they, so i've never been guys, there their, their first podcast they, they do every friday night they have a show that's that is live on the, TikTok. that's coming back in style a lot yeah. of promoters i've talked to are trying to do that again which yeah. oh, they've been weird. doing it since i met them a, over a year ago and in 98, that was unheard of when I started. No one right. even thought of doing something like that my entire career. Yeah. And then now it's like everyone's talking about it. It, it goes through cycles because I think it was like the 70s and 60s, whatever, that it was always weekly, right? Like a lot of territories and stuff were weekly. And right. then it went through a period of non-weekly when TV hit and everything. And then I don't know. Then it went back to weekly, man. Yeah, you're right. It's with indies. I mean, you never hear of indies running weekly unless... But they're doing it now. H two O runs weekly, and uh, a lot of a lot of feds are running weekly. Actually, I know a lot of Beyond feds plan on doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Beyond up in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, be aware, everybody, for SICW. Make sure you follow them all over YouTube, Facebook. They will be running my Papa Den commercial. Hopefully, within the next couple of weeks. Nice. Stay tuned for that. I got a lot of people coming on this week. Who is this? That's you, Johnny. Tomorrow night, I have the one and only all-in-one Michael Fain. Nice. He gave me a hard time at the Titan Show. It's like, all-in-one day. Why haven't I been on? I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out, time out. He's coming back nice. tomorrow night. Good. Nice ring gear. He is awesome. As well as Titans, Ben Castle will be on Thursday there night at 9 from the Deadly Sins. That's going to be nuts. Boom. Boom. And you do this a lot. You pretty much every night you stay booked. Yeah. If, if my, my work schedule, if I opened every day, I'd have at least two a day. Easy. Wow. Easy. I got to push and push back. And it's crazy. Just like at nine o'clock, I have Kobe Bryant from MIW. He's the cruiserweight champion down there. Nine o'clock tonight. He's coming up nine o'clock tonight. Yes. Gee whiz. Do you have someone at eight o'clock? No, no. Oh. I'm going to I'm going to go run and throw my 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 wash. I'm going to go run to the laundromat as soon as we're done going in the wash. Gotcha. And sticking gotcha. in dryer and hop on my my next podcast real quick. Yeah, I'm go to bed, try to get up well, early, hit the gym again. I'm also a single dad, so you know, I got a lot of responsibilities on me. Yeah, I have very little responsibilities, thank God. Yeah, this chat's been going crazy. Holy cow. Really? Yeah, Russell open. MCW is doing weekly wrestling for the last 30 years, I believe. Wow. I don't know. I didn't even know them. Yeah. Mitch says we did the album. Yeah, Mitch did it. Right. But like I said, that was when I was already out of the business. Wow. Yeah. T yeah. Interesting. Tina wants to know why you haven't heard of the Deadly Sins. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't. And I, I keep my ear to the ground. If I haven't heard of these people, it's their fault for not getting their name out there enough. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because I've got to put this out, but I should put this out there. But Titan Championship Wrestling in March 9th is doing free for all. They're doing tryouts for wrestlers for their company, Titan Championship Wrestling. Wrestling is now is going to be involved. They're going to be there scouting for talent. Uh, NYWC nice. out here in Long Island will be in Jersey scouting for talent and a couple other promotions, John. Yeah, that's a lot of good letters right there, too. Quality, good stuff. A lot of good stuff going on, man. Who runs Titan? Steve Mack? Uh, Billy Fetsky. Oh, uh, I don't know. Steve Mack is is the head uh head guy there too, yeah. 
He's on Love the, Steve he's on the bill. But but Billy owns it, yeah. Gotcha. Mitch says Friday Night Madness. Yep, he used to do Friday night shows. Yep. Daniel yeah, says Danny. you should get in touch. You should get in touch MCW. That's where it's at. Yeah. All right. All we'll right. See. All right. We'll see, brother. Steve is the GM. That's right. Steve, well, I appreciate Steve. it, guys. Monster, Thanks for looking out. Monster Mac does a lot more than GM. <laughs> yeah. You know, Monster Mac does a lot of things. All right. Everybody sure. from Instagram land, have a good night. See you later, guys. Good All right. Did we did we disappear, Johnny? Was that my 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 Wi-Fi going out? No, I'm good. I see you. All right, Johnny. Thank you once Yo. again for yes. coming on the podcast. Tell my everybody pleasure, where brother. they can follow you and every everything else you got. You can check up. us out. Uh, I'm on Instagram, Johnny Cashmere. I'm on. Uh, you could check out the dot backseat boys also uh, on Instagram and on Facebook and uh, also on uh, X and you can find Spo wrestling S P O W R E S T L I N G. So give us a follow and, uh, stay in touch. Give them a follow. Absolutely. Everybody else have a good night. Just hold on for a second, Johnny.